Hello and welcome to part 3 of my Hypercube Evolution build. So I've now installed the pulleys, belts and motors and in this video we're going to put together the hot end assembly, install Marlin 2.0 firmware, run some tests and do some first prints. So the belt tensioning system on this design is it's really quite nice, so it just has these two brackets here and you pull the belts through and then you can adjust these screws on either side of the carriage and that then evenly tensions the belts so the aim is to get these bearings to meet at the same place at both sides and then you know that the x-axis is square with the y so you can assemble the X and Y axis without having to have the hot end assembly on, which is a nice feature of this design. So, got an ETHD V6 on this uh, with a 12 volt fan, and the uh, fan duct there just underneath, uh, which you can adjust to some degree. I've also got this BL touch adapter uh, for if I decide to use one in the future. On the back is the optical end stop. Uh, so I had to do a just solder the wires directly onto it without a connector and then push them through the other side and there you can see the um, the M3 brass insert which is and then the dowel pins which is how it locates onto the X carriage. I then printed a bracket for the extruder mounted the hot end assembly onto the X carriage they can see the single screw which makes it easy to change tools if you need to and then just connected everything up I'm not going to go through the wiring it's uh, just the same as my other builds basically I'm going to tidy this all up at some point after I've tested everything so first we're just going to check the axes are working or the end stops are working fine and uh, just ensure everything moves as it should Okay, so everything seems to be working quite nicely. I uh, did have to change the connector on the thermistor wire though because um, that wasn't working correctly, but other than that, there's uh, not been any problems. So, with everything ready, we can now start the first print. This print took about 25 minutes in total. The end result isn't too bad. Uh, there's a tiny bit of ringing and a little bit of layer misalignment, but that can be ironed out with a bit of tuning. Accuracy wise, it's pretty good. Uh, dimensionally accurate, 20 millimeters. I then went ahead and printed this uh, Z banding test piece, which turned out reasonably well again a little bit more fine tuning needed but not bad at all for now so I'll just leave you with some final pictures of the machine and hope you've enjoyed the video I'll try and fix out any issues and do some more prints on it and see what kind of quality I can get it to in the future but for now thank you very much for watching 
if you have any questions just leave me a comment below and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.